Uh, I'm John Ruther, owner of North Star Motorsports in Barrington, Illinois. At North Star, we are the original racing resource, where we carry a complete line of auto racing safety equipment, from helmets, all the clothing items, suits, shoes, gloves, Nomex underwear. We carry seats, harnesses, head and neck restraints, and a complete line of racing brake pads. Today, I'd like to talk about a couple of my favorite helmets. These are from the Japanese manufacturer, Arai. Um, these two helmets are uh, the new standard, SA2020, that's the auto racing standard. Um, the helmet on my right is a helmet that's been in their product line for a few years. It's called the GP5W. W stands for wide. This is the widest eye opening that Arai makes. It's one of the widest in the industry. And if you wear glasses, this is the helmet for you because you can, it's real easy to put your glasses on. You get great visibility and it works very well. I have to wear glasses when I drive. And unfortunately, I have a helmet with a really small eye opening and it's hard to get the glasses in. And um, I should probably go to a helmet like this one on my right. Um, this helmet has a really good airflow. It's got some vents right below it. Uh, for our air inlet and the chin bar. It's got two intakes on the front of the helmet, two exhaust ports on the back. All of these are controllable. You can shut them off. You can, you can open them. Um, this helmet is made out of a composite. It is primarily Kevlar across the chin bar, across the eye, uh, top of the visor. Uh, that's pretty much for anti-penetration capability. The Kevlar is the same material they use in bulletproof vests. Uh, along the band on the side of the helmet, it's made out of uh, carbon fiber. You can't even squeeze this helmet. I can't bend it. It's, it's that stiff. So carbon is very, very stiff material. Then on the top of the helmet and in the back, they use uh, fiberglass. All three of these materials are woven together and then they are baked in an autoclave. Um, the helmet's very lightweight for a composite helmet, uh, very strong, and I, I just like it a great deal. Um, this helmet currently uh, is around $809, um, and uh, I'd like to also talk about a brand new helmet for Arai. This is called the GP7. It replaced the GP6 and the GP6 PED and also the GP6S. They no longer make those, those, those models. Um, this helmet uh, has done a couple of things. Number one, you'll notice it's got a much smaller eye opening. Um, all of the GP6 helmets had a smaller eye opening than the GP5W, so it carries that over. Uh, the features that I like on this helmet, number one, the helmet release, uh, the visor release, you just push up on this and it pops the, uh, the shield loose. You don't have to try to grab it with your glove on, it's very difficult. So this one you just pop underneath and, and the visor comes open. Um, it has three air inlets. Uh, on the front of the helmet, as well as the two right below the visor. It then has uh, two exhaust ports here, as well as exhaust in the back of the helmet. The exhaust port actually has a wing built into it. So this is kind of like the, uh, the GP6, what they call the GP6 PED, standing for Performance Enhancing Device. It was actually a wing on the back of that previous model where they built it into this helmet. You don't any longer have to put it on the helmet because it comes um, as a, uh, a feature that's already installed on this helmet. Um, so they did a lot of really neat things from an aero perspective on this helmet. Um, and just... Uh, this helmet is also exactly the same shell as the FIA 8860 Formula One standard helmet that is 100% carbon fiber uh, that's made out of this same shell, only it's in carbon. That helmet currently is $39.95. This helmet in composite, same composite materials in the GP5W, in the composite, this helmet's $949. So uh, the, the uh, the uh, carbon is significantly more expensive, but it has to stand up to a completely different set of, of um, testing uh, criteria. So I like both of these helmets a great deal. They both have uh, the little flat uh, mounting flange for a Hans device or any other head and neck restraint. The threads are built part of the shell. That's part of the new, the uh, current uh, SA2020 mandate. Um, both helmets have that, so it's very easy to mount uh, head and neck restraint um, post into this helmet. They just thread them in and that's it. 
So I, uh, I like these helmets a lot. One thing Arai does, uh, they have a terrific interior system. This one has a dust shield right inside the front of the helmet to keep any debris or uh, dust and so on from coming up, hitting your chest and going up underneath the helmet. Um, the cheek pads in this helmet are removable, so you can either exchange them for a different size. You can take them out to clean them, put them back in. Uh, it's got a great neck roll on the back. Uh, once you have an awry helmet on your head, you probably say, gee, my other helmet has never felt like this. This helmet fits really, really good. I like it a lot. Uh, and it does have a Kevlar chin strap, uh, and the whole interiors are 100% Nomex material uh, for its um, fireproof uh, properties. So these are the new helmets, the current standard uh, helmets from Arai. Uh, I like both of them a great deal. If you have any questions about these helmets, just give me a call. At North Star Motorsports, our number is 800-356-2080, or go on our website. We have a lot, of more, a lot more information about these two helmets on our site, um, and we have our full line of racing safety equipment on our website. Um, if you have questions, you can leave it in the comment box below. Uh, don't forget, subscribe to our website if you like these videos, and ring the bell. Uh, that'll give you a notification the next time we post a video. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to talking to you, and thanks so much for watching.